All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Enzifa system mod, which is being made by form user JacobJHC. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely new planet on the outskirts of our stock solar system here with a nice little selection of moons. So let's jump into the tracking station and see what we do have. And I want to start actually by apologizing just in case you guys hear any thunder in the audio unfortunately there's thunderstorms all evening long so I'm kind of forced to record during them and I do apologize for that but let's now uh, start zooming out from our beautiful little world here and see the outskirts of the solar system and past beautiful Elu here is now our new planet of Anzephus which is really far out there just look at that orbit and a very very nice and a bit oblong I very much do like how and where this planet is located and does add a fun challenge now as for the planetary system itself we have of course the planet Anzephus and not one two three but in fact four different moons for you to explore and this one circling quite quite closely around the world, just on the outskirts of its beautiful ring. And you guys know me, I'm a sucker for ringed worlds. So let's have a look at the stats on this just gorgeous little planet. And it is pretty small at 109 kilometers in its radius, with no atmosphere present at all. And same goes for all the other moons in this pack. None of them got Atmo, so uh, no taking your helmets off there. Now as for the planet itself, it is quite beautiful. I do love the texturing and the height maps on this. It's got a good mix of nice, cool lowland regions. Most Mostly rocky mountains though, but all in all it does have some pretty fun terrain to explore. Now the first of its moons just outside its ring is Epam, which is basically a small captured asteroid which is six kilometers in a radius, once more no atmosphere, and I really like this one because it looks like it was meant to be a spherical object at one point but just got bombarded by all sorts of things knocking out chunks all around it so it looks pretty darn good there and is well purple and that's always fun so yes just a nice little asteroid for you to go and explore and it does have a beautiful view here of the ring and the uh, planet Enzephus there. Now the next of the moons is Ibenis, or I Ibenis, I, I don't know how to pronounce half these things, but once more a pretty awesomely textured world here, I do really like it. Also small, 21 kilometers in size, and looks like it has lowland deserts mi mixed with very cool red mountain ranges in the whole thing, and kind of goes off into this darker reddish brown region here very very cool I do very much like the look of the whole thing and is just a nice world and once more cool view and the next of the moons is Iwi which is just a big old mountainous thing and kind of reminds me of coral not as much, though, as the next moon, which you'll see in a moment. Well, yes, 10 kilometers in size, a very small, and very, very jagged with just mountain ranges all throughout. So it would be a pretty difficult place to land on, but well worth it, as it would have a good challenge. And finally, the last of the moons here is... Furf? Uh, maybe how you say that, I don't know. But it kind of looks like a weird radioactive coral to me, and I love it. It is 15 kilometers in size, and just has these just oh, beautiful, beautifully colored mountain ranges here. And going into these deep red valleys and lowlands, it's very, very nice. I really do like the coloring of this thing. It's one of the more unique and awesome looking moons I've seen in a while. And just just as fun to go and explore and is quite far out from our main planetary body here and also of course making it one of the furthest freaking things in our entire solar system and that's always fun 
But yeah, that is really it for this mod. It is just the one planet and four beautiful moons with a glorious ring here, which uh, I want to change our view a little bit here. Whoops, not the planet editor, orbit editor. There we go. And there we are. Much nicer view. Beautiful. Yeah, you guys know me. I'm a sucker for ringed worlds, and this one is just a very, very good-looking one here with just a an awesome dark bluish ring around a very cool-looking planet with some nice moons close by. All in all, it's a fun little pack. So if you'd like to go and check this out for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next when hopefully we'll be looking at another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching and and as always, have a good one!